I think we got a, quite a bit in common because I walk around with a little like beetle. hummingbird. Hummingbird. I heard, I, yeah. And when I see hummingbirds, sometimes I feel like it's my family well, there's visiting a, that's me. A, that's a, Does anybody else yeah. feel like that? Do you feel like that at times? Because well, why yeah. is hummingbird so special to you? Well, my, I remember seeing one of my in my dad's garden, and he loved his garden so much. And there was, and my mom said, "Hey, that's your dad." Oh, hey, dad, mm. hi, dad. And then now she's been gone, and it comes. And my son Billy will be, like, "There's Grandma Retta. There's Papa Bill. It's I so love beautiful." That. Um, when Bob died, the night Bob died, I, I you know, actually, I was you know, still am very broken up about it. He was, did you know Bob? You must have met him. I met him, yes. He never left anything on the table. Mm -hmm. He always told you how much he loved you and cared about you. Yeah. So that's, let's, let's keep his legacy going with that because yes. it's so important. <laughs> but I went in his backyard and I, and I was saying, the night he died, and I saw his, this jacuzzi and it was a cigar, was in the thing. And I said, Bob, come on, show me a sign, man. Show me that you're okay up there. And I said, okay, well, maybe he's at peace up there. Maybe he's not rattling the thunder. And, and I started to walk back and whoosh, this little hummingbird came down. And I have it on my phone, whoosh, like this. Yeah. yeah. And it was a, it had a red, like my mom used to wear a red scarf and she had red hair. And it was just kind of like, whoosh, and it was like, whoosh, and it was her saying, it's okay, we're okay, Bob's up here. And uh, just be kind to one another and be loving like he was. Yes. And when we do stuff like that, we know they're smiling down on us. Yeah. So you know they're smiling on you. Yeah, well, they... he might be complaining up there, but you know, <laughs> and then smiling. Now, we both knew Matthew Perry, right. you know? Um, you worked with him before? I knew him before, Friends, a little bit, and then, um, and then I did an episode of Friends, and he was so, it was one of the weirdest, I was standing backstage, and, and um, I was a little nervous to come, make my entrance in, into mm -hmm. the show. I played uh, Zach, I uh, 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 was a sperm donor for Monica and, and Chandler, they wanted to. <laughs> They were checking me out to see if I was, you know, the, my teeth and everything. <laughs> I didn't get picked. But um, I was getting ready to go on, and he said, oh, the, people are going to go crazy. They're going to scream and yell. Wait till you go out there. And there's action. And I walked out, silence. <laughs> like crickets. And I was like, uh. I was so embarrassed. And I just did my line, and then we did the scene. And they go, okay, moving on. I'm like, oh, okay. And I just sort of walked backstage, and... And I could hear, he walked up to the audience and said, let's hear it for John Stamos. You guys probably didn't recognize him at first because he's so good looking in person and he looks so much younger. And it was just such a kind, it was just such a good thing for someone to do. And he yes. really lifted my spirits at that moment. He was a great man. He helped a lot he of was. people too, a lot of people. God rest his soul. Rest his soul. Yes. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.